Have you ever wondered what it takes to bring a priceless painting to Reno? We recently went behind the scenes at the Nevada Museum of Art for the unveiling of the Renaissance masterpiece Titian's La Bella, The Beautiful Woman. The painting arrived in the middle of the night from the Kimball Art Museum in Fort Worth, Texas. There's a lot of a lot of secrets. It's a, it's a little 007, but for, for a good reason, because it is a, a priceless masterpiece. Um, I myself am not privy to all of those details, and they're sort of the details that nobody shares, but um, the, when the piece is shipped, it's under a very, very rigid um, security and it's done by specifically by art couriers who have very, t very stringent um, security requirements they have to follow. It's driven in a special truck um, and it's driven direct from the location. A painting like this can only be exhibited in an accredited museum. The Nevada Museum of Art is the only art museum in Nevada accredited by the American Association of Museums. They include multiple things. So some of the, some of the um, requirements include lighting requirements, uh, how strong light can be, how, how uh, weak it needs to be, uh, the people on staff and how they're trained, uh, what rules they adhere to, temperature, that's a huge thing that we have to deal with in Nevada. The other big, one of the biggest issues we have to deal with is humidity. We have such a dry humidity and that's part of why it takes so long to literally unpack these paintings is because it went from Florence, higher humidity, went to Texas, definitely higher humidity in the summer, and then came to Nevada. And so it has to essentially climatize before you can unpack the piece. An Italian courier travels with the painting to check its condition and make sure it's hung properly. He'll return to Reno when the exhibit ends to take La Bella to its next gallery. The courier is there when the piece arrives. He's there to witness it being opened, the specially designed crate being opened, and he also witnesses anything that have any items or any flaws that may have occurred while it was in shipping, anything that may have happened, if it was disrupted or anything. He inspects it along with our registrar to make sure that it is legally written down and drafted so that there's no responsibility for either location, where it came from and where it went to. Museum staff and some volunteers are specifically trained to handle exhibits coming to the gallery. We have a really great staff and it's interesting because we have, um, we have a huge volunteer base to our staff that does all of the installation and one of the gentlemen that was helping with the installation of the piece, the unpacking and the installation, is actually a volunteer, a specifically trained volunteer and again everything that we do falls under the AAM requirements and so he has to have special training in order to help with and to assist with putting something like that up on the wall. So it is pretty special to get to watch uh, to watch a painting that is centuries old go up on the wall and I wish I could be one of the people with the white gloves who actually gets to hold it and place it up on the wall. It's pretty exciting to be among the first to see a painting of this caliber in Reno. One becomes transfixed with the details of one painting. For example, the sumptuous embroidery, the golden tones emerging from the blue taffeta, the scalloped neckline revealing porcelain-like skin, the rosy colored cheeks, the gaze, the pearls and diamonds she's wearing, all become a fascinating, intriguing um, absorption for viewers. The Nevada Museum of Art partnered with Arte Italia to bring Titian's La Bella to the museum's E. L. Wigan Gallery. Arte Italia is also sponsoring an educational exhibition on the history of La Bella, her stunning dress, and mysterious identity.